Hello everyone, this is Carnage Panda, and I'm back at you with more Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster, and we're gonna be the Glorious Beard, because this is really the only, the last chance we get to be Fuso Ya. So, I'm just gonna enter, I'm gonna talk to the Crystal, and this is just gonna proceed with the events. So yeah, I went through and actually reorganized Rosa's and Fuso Ya's spell list so that I could make more sense out of it, because... It just throws it in the menu as you learn them with the levels, and it has no rhyme or reason really behind it. Ah! The tower. We are too late. What do you mean, too late? I think this is where they, they did it in the original SNES, where they, they made Rydia just say, Scream! The giant of Baybill will come forth. Fancy new animations there. So he's like walking on thin air right now. I'm gonna take a step, I'm gonna take another step, and then I'm gonna blast the fuck out of this shit. The guys down in Eblon are scared the fuck out of their minds right now. Yes, uh, leave the Lunar Whale right on the ground where he can blast the fuck out of it. No! Damn it! Is there nothing we can do? What's that? Ah, the dwarf tanks have shown up. To fight the giant of Babel. Dwarven tanks ready to fire. We will fight alongside you for the planet, our home. Lolly Ho. I could not lie in bed and leave the responsibility of fighting to my friends. Like how all hope is pretty much lost, but they still show the fuck up and are like, let's do this. To relax now, with my help, this will be a cinch. All engines to full power. Yes, sir. Hey all, miss me? The Elder restored us. You should not fight this battle alone. We all must fight for the sake of our survival. I will fight with you, Cecil, with the courage you have given me. Thank you. The giant looks confused. Now is our chance to enter the giant of Babel. I get it. We're going for the core. It's hard. Sid. And the giant's confused. He's like, I came here to destroy the world and you guys are supposed to be in despair, but you're fighting me. What the fuck? Approach its mouth. Who's he? Fusoya, a Lunarian. He's a Lunarian? Can you do this or not? Ah, keep your beard on. There's nothing I can't do. Now! Hang on! Look how they just go full mad lad with their plan. They're like, we're just going to fuck inside this thing. It's probably my one of my favorite areas in the game, you know. Contrast this with the Dark Elf's Cave. And this has a real kick-ass uh, piece of music that plays during it. Um, one thing I want to do is I want to equip uh, Edge with the Thunderclaw because everything in here is a machine, so he'll be able to ravage it with that. And I was looking on the status screen, so he's getting like, uh, well, 10 attacks. If he has the Thunderclaw or the Cat Claw equipped, um, let me put that back on uh, real quick. Uh, looks like he was getting 12 attacks with that because I think I got the, the formula completely wrong on there. Um, when I was looking at it, it's strength divided by 8 and agility divided by 16 gives you your attack multiplier. So he's able to hit past both of them with a, with a cat claw. But um, the quadruple damage from the thunder claw will more than make up for that. And so, you know, the, the power armlet has... Uh, 
done its thing. You know, I could put the power armlet back on and uh, get get them up to 11 attack multipliers. Uh, but I, I think uh, having a more starting to, to build out his defense here is the better option uh, because, you know, he's, he's already getting a lot of attacks. And he's already doing ridiculous amounts of damage. So um, it's just time to start building out his defense. Yeah, look at that. 5840. He just one shots these things at this point. If you're doing 5,000 damage plus, you don't you don't need more help there. Ooh, dropped a siren. Nice. Uh, neck of the giant. Actually, I would want to drop a quick save in here, uh, just in case I miss anything. This is a one-time only dungeon. All right, got a shuriken. Yeah, and since everything's a machine, uh, Edge is just going to ravage everything. Let's get Edge in there first for 5,000 damage. Nice. Get some Thundagas going. Get some Re... Leave my, leave my healer alone. Yeah, I, I think... I, I guess I should try Rosa out, but... Um, I don't think the Thunder Arrows are going to have much punch at this point in the game, so I'm just going to keep her uh, mainly as a healer. So let's get those uh, Thunder Arrows on. I don't I don't have anything that's... Uh, and since the Yoichi Arrows don't have a, a multiplier against anything, they're just not worth it. Let me chess her in here. Eight. Now, Final Fantasy IV, I think, has this summer, lazy summertime music that you could just sit back and relax to. High Potion. That's my interpretation, anyway. Oh, you could also use his, his Blitz Ninjutsu to, to do some good multi-target thunder damage. Well, 2,000, that's, that's not bad. But she's just not competing with, with like, uh... A multi-target Thundaga, this Blitz, and, and the other stuff, so... Oh, you know... What, that confuses them? <laughs> That's funny. Definitely not competing with that. Or that! Maybe Quake is the better uh, multi-target... Uh... So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have her go with a staff for now. Just so she can play healer. Chest contained ether. Because I've already got enough damage as it is. And that 2,000 damage, okay. Let me try Quake, uh, because it costs the same amount, but is just straight up multi-target. Oh yeah, Quake's better. Edge best. All right, there's a chest up in the corner. Ah, Yoichi arrow. Not the best arrow, though. Yeah, quick, just the better option uh, over summons and stuff because it costs less MP. And I want Rydia to be in the center position. I'm gonna actually keep this uh, type of formation for the rest of the game. Just so that I can have my spellcasters in the center. Rage of the Gods. Um, don't know what that's about. Is that is that some kind of uh, band? Chest contains Siren. Instead of Rage Against the Machine, Rage of the Gods. Stomach of the Giant. I use Rydia because she has way more MP than uh, Usoya does. If she runs out of MP, I'll just start tapping into Fusia's uh, MP pool. And Edge and Cecil can just play cleanup. Oh, Rydia learned death. Nice. I think she gets the last one at uh, 55, well, 60 for Meteor, but 55 will get her Flare. Silver Apple. But I want a Golden Apple. Soma Drop. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Rosa, do a little healing here. Never mind. Guess you'll have to do it out of battle. What's her spirit at, like, right now? So yeah, Fusia has 45 intellect and 60 spirit. Um, she has 73 intellect, so... Not only does she have more MP, her, her spells are just gonna hit harder. So, yeah, um, there's no better damage than, than Rydia in the game. And your spirit is at 83, so she's a better healer than Fusia as well, so... I guess that's just the sage penalty for being able to use uh, both types of magic. Oh, just hit him with the regen then. Oh, once Rydia gets that uh, Quake spell down. Alright, clean up. 5,050. Under arrow, nice. Inner Path of the Giant. One more chest here. I see you, chest! It's like some kind of uh, machine dragon that's supposed to be in here as well, but I, I haven't run into it yet. Alright, so uh, time to clean up. This is what I was trying to do through Final Fantasy 1 through 3, but since it has a turn-based system, I wasn't able to get my casters to go first. Usia! Levels up. Monsters! Ah, the last arm. Uh, can you still steal sirens from this guy? I heard that you were in, unable to do it uh, in this game. Magnetic radiation. Okay, stole siren. Uh, so, yeah... Um, the, the thing I could do here is just, uh, sit here and steal, like, 99 sirens from him, which I think I would do. Um, I just hit, re uh, regen there, and I guess that magnetic radiation is just, uh, stop. Anyway, I'm just gonna do a, do a cut here while, uh, Edge steals sirens. I'm, I'm back, so what you really want to do on this is cast slow on you you could actually stack slows on the on the guy so he doesn't get as many attacks because he likes to use stop and stop cannot be cured by Ezda and also cast uh, haste on uh, edge and haste can be also is also stackable in this game uh, unlike uh, in the previous three uh, Final Fantasies um, haste does not increase your attack multipliers it increases the speed that the ATB go goes up and Holy shit, does it Edge's uh, ATB go up fast, so he's able to just steal with auto battle, just bam, 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 bam. So, I don't think I got as many as I would have liked, like, getting it up to 99, but, um... I like how it says recover HP instead of a regen. Um, I guess they, they didn't think of it being the regen status until 5. So, anyway, um... I'm just gonna go in for the kill now see how many I got after the battle. I think there's another enemy in here that you can also get, uh... And I think this guy also summons the, uh, machine dragons? Summons something. Got an elixir. Alright. No mega elixirs yet. Oh, hey, you're not supposed to be here. Welcome, what can I do you for? Oh, I can buy stuff from him? Damn. Uh, let's let's uh, buy some more cabins. Um, you can actually buy bomb arms. Sure, why not? Uh, I'm gonna have uh, so much money, I don't know what to do with it right now. Rage of the Gods. Thundara. Okay. Um, whatever. Um, I could buy shurikens elsewhere, so I don't care. Alright, thank you very much. Um, let's see. Uh, no Quake. And then Cecil can play cleanup. Yeah, but I had, uh, Fusia going regen and uh, Rosa doing, uh, prey, so they were able to stay top top. Uh, 
All right. That's the way you want to play it. All right, so... Um, da -da 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 -da, cottage. We'll take advantage of our uh, save point here. I think it might be this floor that you uh, encounter the, the dragon machines on. So... I'm gonna drop a quick save so I can get it in the bestiary later. Uh, because I'm about to go into another boss battle. Stirwell of the Giant. Make them suffer, Rydia. I didn't actually have to use the cabin there, but I wanted to just in case. What a jerk. There, there was one more that I, I could clean up. Oh, hey, it's Rubiconte. You have come at last. You cannot stop the giant of Babel. Ha ha ha, now is the time. For the death of you all. Okay, so the four elemental lords, um, they, they want a rematch, apparently. Indeed. Master Zemus blessed us with a second life. Prepare to die. I shall enjoy fighting you again. You have taught us the power that comes from joining forces. That is what we will do. Now, allow me to restore your strength. So they joined forces, but unfortunately they're still pretty stupid because they come at us one at a time. I, I'm guessing that it's because uh, the... The battle could not actually handle all of the, uh, back of the SNES day, handle, handle all of these guys on the screen at the same time. This time, we shall prevail. That would have been an exciting battle. Okay, so, um, you're going to be sent straight to hell. Uh, let's, let's get Berserk on Cecil. I don't need to control him at all. Let's get that regen in there because it's going to be a lengthy battle. All right. Only 2,200? Man, Edge is going to do all the heavy lifting here. All right, uh, Scarmiglione already done. Um, let's uh, haste him. Oh. Um, ice Claw on him. Uh, he's not going to do the whole Torrents of Water uh, bullshit uh, this time. Oh man, he's got uh, a stout shield, I guess. Unfortunate that I can't Berserk Edge in this battle. Okay, uh, he's weak against Thunder, it appears. After that, he should be wiped out, so... We'll just move on to the next boss. Um, let's get the, the Cat Claw on, because Barbaricia has no weak... Barbaricia has no weakness. It has no enemy type, so might as well get more attack multipliers out of Edge. And we'll use Flare. Um, you don't have Holy. Uh, it doesn't matter. Give you some Bahamut for your troubles. Right. Holy shit, Cecil! What was up with that? Alright, let's get some ice claw in here. Oh, you weren't expecting that, were you, Rubicante? Just came in to take the, the fucking damage for him. Now, unfortunately, they're no match for us. They, they, they just can't hang with this, this uh, level of damage. Yeah, <laughs> it's a complete joke that they thought they could take us. Oh, 
obliterated. Ah, Rosa just learned holy. Okay, now she has attack magic um, from her white magic. So um, I can use that as well. Uh, now, now Rosa has even more options than her bow attack. Oh, she didn't get any stat-ups on that one? Master Zemus. Please, one last chance. We have failed again. Farewell, Valiants. I don't know what they were thinking, man. They, there is no way they were hanging with us this time. They've just gone above and beyond what they, they could handle. Got a rematch uh, tro uh, achievement for that, uh, whatever. <laughs> That's not really an achievement here. CPU of the Giant. Oh, I want to um, remove all of his equipment uh, because he's leaving after this battle. I don't really care if he gets ob obliterated. Um, I shouldn't have much trouble with this battle anyway. Um, I'm going to put the diamond armlets on him. That'll give him one defense, but uh, more importantly, get him some lightning defense, uh, which he's going to be sorely lacking in uh, ma uh, uh, resistances in, in, in the final dungeon because unless I could get some, like a, a ribbon drop or something, um, it's just not going to work out well for him. Uh, and and Fusoya is going to leave after this battle anyway. This is the core of the giant. It's CPU. Whoa. We have to destroy the defense node first because it can repair the CPU. I like how Fusoya tells you what, what you have to do. And I imagine there's people in here that just like play this game and get completely obliterated. Uh, are they not, uh... Are they resistant to, um... Where's Scan at? I don't want to use Berserk on Cecil because I don't want to kill the attack node. Uh, did you put a Reflect on yourself? Um, killing, killing the attack node is actually bad. Uh, if you kill both the, um... God damn it. Okay, so he's gonna put up, uh... That, um, I guess I can't use magic in this battle. Okay, I guess they, he does not have the machine type. Uh, this is going to unfortunately obliterate somebody. Well, she obliterated herself, so that's fine. Okay, let's uh, put the, the cat claw on then. Might as well get more attack multipliers to do a little bit more damage. Um, hmm. I could use Bahamut to get around Reflect, but if I take down both uh, attack and defense node, it'll use uh, Globe 199 twice, and Globe 199 will do like 9,000 damage and take out two of my party members. So I don't want to do that at all. So I guess this is just going to be the Cecil and Ed show. Oh, you know what? I could get Rosa in on this too. And use Fusoya as my healer. So let's uh, get her the Yoichi's bow and the Yoichi's arrows. Or where's the Yoichi arrow? Ah, okay. So that she could get some damage in too. And uh, Radio will be completely useless. So let's just have her defend. Attack, attack, and uh, Shiraga. And just auto battle because who cares? We should have it at this point. Between the uh, passive healing from Regen and uh, Shiraga, we should be fine. That piercing laser will never kill us. Okay, we got that down, so the battle's won. You just have to kill the attack node at this point, and then it'll be finished. Giant of Babel done. Easy peasy. The Destroyer of Worlds is dead. All right, we stopped it. Why you?
Golbez mad. How dare you destroy the giant? You! Like, what, what's Golbez going to do to us at this point in the game? Do I know you? You have to look deep inside yourself. You have to realize who you really are. Stop it! You must wake up! Fusilla take, took himself out. What came over me? Why was I filled with so much hatred? You have returned to your true self. Now, do you remember your father's name? My father is Kluya. What? Then that makes you Cecil's. You two are brothers? Alright, we just need M, M. Night Shyamalan to come on and be like, What a twist! I have a brother. You are a puppet in Zemus' plan. He was manipulating you with his hypnotic powers. He chose you because you have the blood of Cluya, a Lunarian, coursing through your body. That made it easier for Zemus to control you, but to make you fight against your own flesh and blood. That's enough! I was fighting against my own brother? All this hate was against my own family? You're my... I wonder why you were chosen. It could easily have been me. We both have Lunarian blood. I was chosen because of the seeds of evil that lay inside me. Zemus saw that evil, and he helped it grow. Made me wear some, some badass armor. Where are you going? To fight Zemus, I have a score to settle. Wait! I, too, am a Lunarian, just like Zemus. I will join you. Goodbye, Cecil. Is this what you want, Cecil? Golbez is never coming back. You know that, right? Aren't you going to do anything? He's your brother. My brother? Yes. We might be in trouble. We have to get out of here. Cecil! What are you doing? We need to find a way out. This way. Oh no, it's Kane. He's come to stab us in the back again. Kane! Oh no, we're not falling for that again. And just like, one, one time is enough. We can talk later. Right now, we have to get out of here. Hurry! Giant of Babel's down. Finally, I was able to return to my senses. I don't expect you to forgive me after all I've done. Of course we're not going to forgive you. That giant pr the giant was practically your doing. Stop it! Rosa, it's not Kane's fault. You saw how Zemus had control over Zegolbez. Golbez too. Golbez is Cecil's older brother. He was being manipulated by a Lunarian named Zemus, who used their shared Lunarian blood to control him. Golbez and Fusaya went to the moon to destroy Zemus. Golbez is Cecil's brother? And I, too, should follow them and give Zemus the payback he deserves. I hope you don't end up betraying us again. If that happens, you could kill me. I think Edge could take, uh, Kane. Then I'd better go, too. Besides, I don't- I want to give the Zemus a guy a piece of my mind. Edge. Then it's decided. We go to the moon. Cecil. Rosa, Rydia, you two stay here. The three of us will go. I can't put you in any more danger. But Cecil, that's not fair. Please, you have to get off the lunar whale. A little kid won't be much help anyway. Fuck you, Hedge. Just, what the fuck are you talking about? 
Who are you calling a kid? Just stay put, kid. Wow, Edge is just being an asshole here. Cecil. King, Edge. Why would you land there? This is what I get for letting you go on autopilot, Cecil. Let's go. Rosa. Get out of the way, Rosa. No, I'm not moving. You have to take me with you. Why are you doing this? Because I don't want us to be apart. I don't care what happens as long as I'm with you. Rosa. I guess we have no choice. Well, aren't you the ladies' man? All right, Rosa. I'll protect you with my life. It worked! What, you? This is everyone's war, not just yours. Besides, I'm the only one who could summon creatures to help us. Rydia, you're right. This war is ours to fight together. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to end the episode here, so leave a like, comment, or subscribe down below. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.